scary. Wow. These entities are all over. Imagine that. I knew that crap. That cloud was not a freaking cloud, it was a spacecraft. And what was around it was even more scary, the reptilian reality. Check this out. This is where the picture that was the reverse of this, uh, that was the negative or the opposite to this picture, which is this picture. which is this picture and check this out how this thing oh my god this is just terrible these entities are present I mean we are in their world this is not a joke. Apollo 8, I will show the, the picture. This, the space is just covered with eyes. Eyes, millions of them. Now I know why the all seeing eye come from. It's from that, these people worship these things. We are in deep trouble because of this. Check it out. All I'm doing is, is refining the picture a little bit. Take the color off. Look what happened. It's like another world right there. Another reality. And that orb was next to the cloud, which has the perfect shape of a UFO, a saucer shape. Which it is a saucer. Uh, crap, but it's much more than that. It came with all this extra view. It's like they opened the curtains for us to see. Well, you couldn't see it, but only with electro optical devices like the cameras. Who took the picture doesn't even know. What an incredible picture that is. It's just amazing when you reverse this picture from that to this. Then you see a lot of details. So I did take the color and refine the picture a little bit and you reverse the image. What was black becomes white or light. And that's what that is. The same thing I was showing but now is you can see the, the The same thing, but in a lighter shade. Look at that. That's like a looking into another world, another universe, dimension. I imagine that's what would that be? Electromagnetic dimension. 
That's how they keep themselves hidden from our eyes. And that is explained by the translation that Zachariah Sitchin made of the Sumerian tablets, clay tablets, or the, how do you call the, the language the Sumerian use, which only, I think he say only 12 people around the planet know how to translate that. Cuneiform. Imagine how, I wonder how he learned to translate Cuneiform. I think he had to learn like two other languages to get to that. Greek and uh, I don't know all Hebrew. I don't know how many languages he speak, but he had to learn all languages to get to that, to interpret correctly. And the story is that he uncovered, and he said that his work was only like. 20% of the entire thing. They say there's so much more work. He spent 30 years translating that. Then when the United States invaded Iraq, they stole a bunch of the clay tablets and destroyed others. I wonder why they did that must to be a lot of stuff, secret stuff, they did not want anybody to find out. Whoever that society is that is uh, controlling this planet, want to keep all the secret for themselves. <clears throat> including the secret of living for thousands and thousands of years, which the Anunnaki told in the tablets that they took some kind of uh, food, some kind of stuff they, they drank and ate that. And Part of that was monatomic gold. One, one atom, gold made out of one atom, refined to the point that is really, really high tech to get to a, a gold instead of eight atoms, only one. But it, he is plain that the tablets are, I mean, all the secrets are in those tablets. Just that the people that know how to translate that are scared. This the secret society had them under threat. You speak and you die. So all the secrets are being kept hidden from us, the rest of the planet. But well, this is why they worship these entities, because they know that these entities control the entire 